what's going on boxing fans but today I'm gonna talk to you about some basketball as you see I changed my logo up a little bit I can only talk about boxing for so much and I had to change it to boxing and other sports because I watch other things besides just boxing and it keeps a little bit boxing is just getting boring to me now man but this is what I'm here to talk about game six Houston Rockets Going into game six at home. Tony Parker's out. Kawhi Leonard is out. Everybody just knows this is going to be a blowout. But is it a blowout? Heck no, it isn't. Why? Because nobody fears the beer. James Harden, you were the biggest letdown in all of NBA history last night. All. All NBA history. How are you going to be at home, game six, do or die, and you're going to play like that? You know what? I was defending you earlier, a couple months ago, when I said between Westbrook, James Harding, I said it should come down when y'all two played each other and y'all knocked Oklahoma out. I said that's who the MVP should be since y'all both were in the top runnings. But now... I take all that back. Matter of fact, dude, you shouldn't even be in the MVP category. At least Westbrook would have went out trying, gave it his all. That's not what you did. Look at these stats. I got these stat sheets. James Harden played 36 minutes and only had 10 points. 10 points, you barely broke into double digits. Barely. Look at this, James. 2 for 11 and field goal attempts. 2 out of 9 and 3 point attempts. So you know what lets me know? You didn't make, look at this, you went 2 for 4 on free throws. So that 2 out of 11 field goal, that was really, you only took two regular shots. The other nine were three-pointers. You made six points shooting three-pointers. And the other four points came from free throws. You didn't make not one bucket inside the three-point line. You didn't drive. You didn't lay it up. Tell me why. Tell me why Trevor Ariza, Trevor Ariza, led the team with 20 points. Why is that, James? Go ahead. I'm waiting for you to answer. Tell me why. Clint Capella, 15 points. Patrick Beverly, 7. Eric Gordon, 6. Heck, Lou Williams had 8 points. Lou Williams almost busted your record. Y'all know what y'all over under the whole night was? Negative 39. Look at San Antonio. Danny Green, 10. LaMarcus Aldridge, 34. Pau Gasol, 10. Jonathan Simmons, 18. Jonathan Simmons, the rookie boy, got 18 and you only got 10. Patty Mills, 14. He busted your tail. DeJounte Murray, 11 points. Really? You got to be kidding me. You know their overall plus, 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 positive 39. James Harden. And then I'm looking, I'm looking today. I'm watching a video. I think TMZ, somebody got it. You know, TMZ everywhere. Afterwards, after you showered and answered the question, did you hang your head in shame? Say, I'm going to go home and lay it down, man. I really need to rethink my career, my life. Did you do that? Were you the type of person after loss or do or die to go to the Western Conference Finals? Was so upset that you couldn't do that? No. No, you weren't. You know what you did? You embarrassed all of Houston. You know what you did? You go out to the club. And you rubbing all up against booty shaking girls at the club. 
Partying it up, James. Partying up. Combed out your beard. Make sure your beard look good before you go out to party. Throw a couple breath mints in. The same night. You didn't wait till the next day or wait till this weekend. You go out to party? Party, James? Y'all need to revoke his MVP. That man shouldn't even be a candidate. How many turnovers you have? You know what? It's Main point, my subject line. The Hall of Famers said that you quit. And this was quoted by Stephen A. Smith on ESPN. He said, hey, I got about five different texts. And all Hall of Famers said, James Harden quit. He quit. He mentally shut down and quit. Skip Bayless. And all of them said, you, you, you melted. Shannon Sharp. You didn't. And he said a perfect thing. You didn't choke. Because choking is when you take the shot at the end and you choke and you miss it. You didn't even do all that. You melted. James Harden went from being this all the way to you just melted right down. Oh, but you got your mind right when it's time to go to the club, though, didn't you? Time to party. Your partying should have been beating San Antonio and going back to the home court to take it from them. That's what your party should have been. That was a disgrace. You need to get traded. You need to be up out of here. When I watch game five, you allowed it to go into overtime. And not only did you allow it to go into overtime, not only did you allow it, you had three turnovers in like a couple minutes. They went 0 for 3. And then you turn around and let Manuel Ginobili block you from behind. You know how embarrassing that is? Manny Ginobili, the 50-year-old man, knees a trouble. He got to ice it down in between breaks. Runs from behind and blocks you from behind. So do I agree with the NBA uh, Hall of Famers? Absolutely. You quit. You quit. Man, you need to rethink Rethink, man, whether you want to be in this NBA or not. No. Rethink. No, you're good enough to be in the NBA. I ain't going to take that from you. But you need to rethink whether you want to be the captain or the all-star of the team. You better off being a role player. I'd rather see Eric Gordon, Clint Capella, somebody like that, be the leader on the team, be the captain. You ain't cut out for it, bro. Y'all leave y'all thoughts, comments below. Was the NBA Hall of Famers right? Did James Harden quit? Tell me, tell me what you think what happened. I want to hear from y'all.